I want to say to my widow sister out there, keep pushing. Keep pushing. I hear this word from the Lord I want to share with you as my widow sister. The Lord said to me, push. Hallelujah. As I was meditating on that word, he said there is a cost to push. Yes. My widow sister, there is a cost for you to push. Don't be stagnant in this present situation. Don't be stagnant in your new faith with God. I know widowhood is not something that everyone understands until it happens. Now that you, we are in this situation, we have to keep pushing. Push. Don't give up. It is not over with you and your children. God is with you. He is the husband to the widow and the father to the fatherless. I'm sharing this with you because I've experienced God in a different dimension, in a, in a different way in my life. That is why I'm sharing this with you. If you learn how to push towards God every day of your life, you will be able to manage every pain that comes. Hallelujah. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly that you can ever think or name. My widow sister, it is not over. Even if people push you away from their life because you are not a widow, don't worry. Push towards the almighty God spiritually. Push towards God. You don't need people. You need God sent people. Hallelujah. You don't need people. You need God sent people. As people push you away from your life, God push people into your life. Hallelujah. There, I have experienced it. I am talking to you out of experience. When the building of my church was shut down in May 8, 2019, I left everything. I decided to still go on with the ministry. Even when God has revealed to me that the building, the ministry is going to be shut down. I decided to still continue and keep pushing. Not only pushing for God's word, I was pushing towards God to tell God I, I'm, I'm not going to give up. I was telling God, literally telling God, I don't want to give up. No matter what you have revealed, I know you that have revealed, you are able to redeem. I keep pushing until the building was shut down. And I did not take anything out of that building. Even when the landlord said I should come and take, I should come and clear the belongings of the church, I said no. Because I want to heal myself. Since the people has left the church, I could no longer pay for the bills. I, I am the pastor, senior pastor of the ministry. I am, I am the founder of the ministry. I am the senior pastor of the ministry. So when my husband passed away, I, I still push. I still push. It was difficult. It was hard. It was not easy. I pushed till I see the final closure of the place. When the landlord decided to close it because we were not able to pay three months the rent. And at the same time, we were hoeing about 2700 for the renovation of the church, which the landlord helped us to do. So I, I, I left it. I left that building and I left the whole thing there. Now God has given me a place in Rochdale. And by the grace of God, I know the God who has done it before, he will do it again. And I know God is faithful. While I'm sharing this with you, my widow sister, don't give up. Don't give up. Let's be supportive to ourselves. You need counseling. You need somebody to talk to. I'm here. You need prayer. I am here. I'm not completely healed, but I'm managing my pain. 
but God has been very faithful in all. I am sharing this because I went through not only bereavement, I went through losing of a ministry. It wasn't funny. In pain and in ache, I push. Please, my widow sister, push. There is a cost to push. At the end, you will see that it what you pushing. I pray that the Almighty God, the self-existent God, will give you the grace for you to push, for you to push forward, for you to move forward, for the children to push forward. I pray that God will give the children the grace, our children the grace, the fatherless the grace to push forward in life. I pray that the Lord will heal you and your family. We heal each and every one of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Amen. God bless you, my widow sister. Is your sister, prophetess, Mrs. Rosalind, a wife of New Life in Christ Evangelical Ministry, the New Jerusalem, Rochdale, Manchester. God bless you. Amen.